take a look around and find somebody to war eagle. It's showtime. Holy cow! Oh my god! Well, hello, Auburn, Alabama. And all points around the globe where War Eagle can be heard and return with joy. Particularly on the rolling hills and plains of the loveliest village today and every day. And hello to you consumers of Auburn Broadcast Transmissions. Welcome to Auburn Stuff, the variety show where we discuss the philosophy of life in orange and blue and other stuff that you may or may not find entertaining and informative but that I certainly do. Before we get started today, you might notice my attire. Want to give... That's right, never forget. Shout out to the boys over at the War Report doing the most amazing work in the Auburn creation, content creation community. Absolutely. We take care of ourselves. We look uh, uh, each other. Take care of ourselves, but we take care of each other and we look out for one another as well. And those guys are awesome and I am happy to contribute to the cause. This episode of Auburn Stuff is brought to you by Scott Schroeder Photography. What are your photography needs? Whether it's faces, spaces, or places, Scott Schroeder Photography specializes in modern classic imagery to tell your story. Based in the South Carolina Low Country and traveling throughout the Southeast and beyond, visit scottschroederphotography.com for information and booking. Here we go. I don't think it's possible to pack the deserved quantity of loathing into this screed, but I'm going to give it my very best shot. So, hold on. Vile, venal, gutter snipe turd weasels have existed since humanity began gathering in the proto-communities. We used to squash turd weasels and chase them back under the little rocks, but now Twitter is turd weasel steroids and the dank, porn-infested, Cheeto-dust-stained space under their rocks is their operational platform because we have removed shame from the equation. Shame, ah, the great cultural firewall that governs free societies with apothems like just because you can doesn't mean you should, and this oldie but a goodie, What would mama say if she saw you doing that? Well, it used to be that firewall. Anyway, social media has busted down that wall like the Kool-Aid man on a three-day bender, and the world of communication is a post-apocalyptic hell space because of it. I, and most decent human beings, rarely have a clue as to the goings-on in the disturbingly unpleasant and self-loathing underworld of sports message boards and related social media until... It becomes so ludicrous as to ooze its way into the light. All of the vitriol focused on Auburn football and more specifically at present, Brian Harson is borderline psychopathic. I take that back. There is absolutely nothing borderline about it. The subtext is that Auburn football is in the beginning stages of a program reboot and that is a difficult, painful, and ugly process on the front end. And much like a three-year-old who can't process the stable and balanced concept of delayed gratification, the turd weasels are stomping around and throwing a fit because of the friction. The root of the problem, ladies and gentlemen, is the mental imbalance suffered by people who have very little going on in their lives. And the one and only distraction from their horrid existence isn't in a perfect state while their biggest rivals are enjoying unparalleled success. (sighs) This is understandable if the only mainstream, culturally acceptable activity that gets you out of bed most days is the daily machinations of a college football team. One would think that the general success of Auburn athletics and the joy being expressed by the student body, alumni, and fans around the world would assuage this angst. But it doesn't, and it never will. And I'll tell you why. The differentiation, listen, the differentiation 
between the joy you see surrounding basketball, gymnastics, equestrian, baseball, softball, and everything else at Auburn, and the despicable filth and general assholery you see regarding Brian Harson and Auburn football is that the former is expressed by those who love everything about Auburn, while the latter only watch football. Those who are optimistic and joyful love Auburn University, the city of Auburn, the people, the businesses, the community, and the Auburn spirit. They aren't happy about the valleys of football, but it doesn't affect their lives. The miserable, hate-spewing turd weasels are football-only fanatics and most likely couldn't point to Auburn on a map of Lee County. Auburn people love Auburn. Period. The rest are football watchers. We know who you are, and we've seen others like you come and go. The only difference between you and Harvey Updike is that you have a knockoff Auburn football jersey in your closet. That's it for Auburn Stuff today. I thank you for your time. Please subscribe, like, and share. Peace out, homies, and War Eagle.